into um, another cool down exercise. So we're going to do a nice static stretch again. Uh, for this, you want your dogs either standing or doing the front paws up. So I'll show you with both. And we're going to start with a stand and we're going to take a treat between the front paws. Okay, and when we do this, and then finding his, it's only one, you can go behind the front leg if you want to. There's a good boy. And what we get is this really nice action on the back here, across the cervical and thoracic spine, and a little bit of the lumbar, where we get that lovely, lovely flexion going on where it's nice and stretched. Okay? So that's a nice movement, good boy. So we'll do it with Ripley just to show you a different dog doing it. So you can either bring your treat between the front paws that way. It's there, Dan, you just haven't found it yet. But it's there. See? Or you can go round the back of the front leg. So I'll show you what that looks like from here. There you go, to get that nice spine stretch. Also known as flexion. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. Okay. Now, another way of doing it is from the paws up. So if your dog's comfortable with the paws up exercise, as these two clearly are, we can do it that way. All right, Ripley, go get that, darling. So from the paws up, treat behind the front legs. Melly, please. And again, that nice spine stretch. So behind the front, <laughs> you two are messing around. Stop messing around. Good, well, that's better. Good, Ripley. Paws up. Good. If they're too busy trying to find the food, have two treats so that one keeps the head up while you're bringing your hand behind, and then you can get them back up and treat with the first treat afterwards. Oh, well, you come here. Come round here. So one treat here to get the head up. Let her know that there's a treat underneath her. Good girl. There's a very good And that will also, by treating after doing the stretch, it helps them keep both feet on and not come off at a funny jaunty angle. You can try going forward with this one, but it's much, much harder from this position because, of course, they can see the treat coming, can't you? Yes, you can. So that is a nice um, flexion of the back. You can then also go the other way and do it, can you come up, please, like a play bell. So if your dog's going to do a play bell, you can ask for that. If they haven't done it before, then we start off with a, an almost play bell, and that is from a stand position. Hand goes sort of under here, but on the side closest to you, and we're going to bring the treat. Stand up, please, good boy. Down towards the ground, so they lean and the elbows start to bend. Hasn't got to be a full play bell at this stage. We we'll bring it down. My hand is just in here on my side to stop him laying down, and we're getting a nice bit of a bend. Now, when they do this action they start to get that nice curve and get a different kind of an extension going on, don't you? You go get that. Rippers, come over here, please. So same thing with Ripley, down to the ground. Good girl. So she actually bent her elbows that time, which is brilliant. Good girl. Just down to the ground. Doesn't have to be a full play bell. Just might be this at this stage. And then stand them back up again at the end of each one, and that is absolutely fine. So then we're getting two different kinds of stretches, extensions and flexions, where the back is going in two different directions. And we're working all down the cervical, the thoracic and the lumbar spine, but we're also doing a bit of work, stretching out those shoulders, stretching out the elbows, and then even a tiny bit around that back end as well. Okay, so some nice static stretches for your, your cool down today, which is uh, the head between the front legs to get the curve up, and then a play bell to get the curve going downwards. Okay, so let's see how you're getting on.